day. So yesterday, I actually went in um, to Mac for their Hey Sailor um, demos. They were doing like little eye demos and stuff like that um, because of their um, the launch of their new Hey Sailor collection. Um, so. I signed up to go in yesterday and um, my makeup artist, I believe her name is Victoria. I totally forgot, but I'm not sure. I think it's Victoria. Anyways, she created this amazing look for me. And um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, um, I try to post pictures almost every day of um, just like makeup or nails and stuff like that. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely look me up. I will put my name right here, my username down below. Um, but anyway, Anyways, so I posted this picture and a lot of people gave it a thumbs up or a like. So I actually decided to recreate the look and show you guys pretty much exactly what she did. Um, and I think I did a pretty okay job at recreating the look that she made for me. Um, I will post a picture right here um, from yesterday when she did my makeup. Um, so I'll put that right here and you guys can kind of compare. I tried to do it as... Um, you know, precise as she did. Um, and a lot of the stuff is from the Hey Sailor collection. However, um, I will kind of be showing you different options that you can use. I was totally in love with this look when she made it. Um, so I hope that I made it justice in recreating it. And I really hope that you guys enjoy this. So um, without further ado, I will go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So if you guys want to know how um, I achieved this look, then just stick around. Guys, so as always, I'll be priming my lid with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and just placing that all over and really working that in. Next, I'm going to be taking my color tattoo in bold gold and just placing that to the lid area. Then using a flat shader brush, I'm going to be picking up two of these gold colors in my BH Cosmetics 88 Shimmer Color Palette. And um, I'm using this because I didn't pick up Barefoot from the collection, um, but I'm just placing this over the lid on top of that bold gold. Then I'm going to be taking a cork and using a 217 blending brush to place that right into my crease as a transition color. I'm going to be taking Feeling Fresh from the new Hey Sailor collection and I've also put a dupe option up above and I'm going to be placing that into my crease area like so, working that towards the center of the eye and just kind of um, really covering your whole crease and a little above the crease. Then I'm going to be taking a blending brush and just blending out any harsh lines. I really do want that green to pop, so we're going to be going back and forth with the green and blending and then back to the green uh, a couple times till we get the perfect green. Next I'm going to be taking a John T and again I have placed a dupe up above for you guys. Then I'm just going to be taking this and placing this as a brow highlight. And just blend out those lines. Then for a little pop of blue, I'm taking Nautical Navy and I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and place that right on the outer V. Then again, I'm going to be going back in with a little bit of green just to tone that navy down and taking a blending brush, blend out all those colors. Blend, blend, blend. Taking this PowerPoint eye pencil in blue stripe, which is also from the Hey Sailor collection, I'm just going to begin to line my top lash and I do want to create a little wing at the end 
And then she did make this line pretty thick, so I'm just going to keep layering and layering until I achieve the thickness that I'm comfortable with. And I'm also going to take that down below and line my lower lash line. Going back to that nautical navy, I'm going to be taking a pointed smudge brush and placing that over the blue stripe eyeliner just to really make that blue stand out. And another PowerPoint eye pencil in the color Emerald C. I'm going to be placing that in the inner corner of my eye. Going over it with the feeling brush. I'm going to blend those two colors together to kind of make a little seamless transition. The eyebrows, she did make these pretty thick in the demo, so I am just going to recreate those and make them extra thick today. You can just go back in with Jaunty and clean up that bottom and um, clean the top with a concealer brush. Next, I'm just going to be taking a cream eyeliner and placing that in my waterline. Curl those lashes and apply the mascara of your choice. I'm really going to load on the layers of mascara today because with such a bright eye, I really want those eyelashes to stand out. And you can use falsies, but she didn't in the demo, so for that reason, I am not using them in my tutorial. Let's dust off any fallout. And for cheeks, I'm going to be using Fleet Fast from the new Hey Sealer collection and just placing that all over my cheeks. And at the demo, she did bronze me all up, so I'm going to be using my Tarte Bronzing Powder in Park Avenue Princess. It's a nice shimmery bronzing powder, and I'm just going to place that all over. And as a highlight today, I'm going to be using Whisper of Guilt from the Extra Dimension Collection. For lips, I'm taking a little bit of the Salute and dabbing that onto my lips along with some orange tempura and finally Candyland from NYX. It's an extreme cream and I'm just going to blend all of those colors together with my finger. Taking my lip tint in O Rose, I'm going to place that on my lips and again just blend all those colors together. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know I had tons of fun putting it together for you. Let me know what you think of my attempt at recreating this look in the comments below. And also don't forget that I have a giveaway going on right now. So go check out that video. Until the next time guys, I'll see ya. Bye.